All right, I'm out here driving the RV for the first time. It's pretty awesome. It's a little stressful. It's going good. I'm excited. It's really not far as I thought it would be. The hardest part is just literally staying in my lane. Obviously, I don't even know if I'm recording right now, but yeah, there's that. So I'll just put you guys down and see what happens. If you guys are wondering why Haley isn't with uh, me, she is currently driving our car behind and following us because we had to drive down to Salt Lake. Okay, so Corbin is doing so good of driving the motor home right now. It's so freaking huge, <laughs> but it's awesome. We got my cute little co-pilot right next to me. Hi, Jizzy. Can tell all your followers hi? See, I still have a broken leg, huh? Okay, we're driving safe. All right, update. So we drove up from Salt Lake, we're on our way up to Preston, Idaho, where we will be renovating this RV. It's in Preston is my family owns some property up there with a the house. It's on the Bear River. And I'm sure you guys will be seeing that here in the future. As far as driving goes, she's doing good. Like I said before, just trying to keep my gigantic RV in my lane is the most difficult part. But it's going good. It's actually a pleasure to drive, honestly. I kind of like it. It keeps me super engaged. The only problem is, is I need to pee and I'm starting to get hungry. We're going to be stopping to Brigham City to get some gas. Because currently the gas tank doesn't work. Yeah, we'll get that, get some food, and I can go pee. And then we'll be on the road again. That's the update. So, you guys push Alright, so back on the road. We just stopped at Brigham City, got some gas. I want to pee finally. And Kaylee is actually no longer following me. She's going to Firehouse Pizza to get us some pizza. Um, currently headed into Sardi Canyon. Foot's all the way down, going 50 <laughs> to 65. So yeah, wish me luck. Man, I bet most of my videos are just my shit. But yeah, all right, I'll let you guys go. see it but we're passing um, the bowl for Aggies at Utah State there he is yeah go big blue yep and then we're coming up on the pretty part of the drive here through Sardine Canyon and I'll show you guys in just a second Seeing those mountains right there. So pretty. Love them so much. It's a pretty view. All the way around. driving through really thick snow right now. Holy crap. Wow. This is nuts. Wish me luck. Well, we pretty much made it on uh, this one more corner. So I'm just gonna leave you guys off here and call it good. So that was our adventure. I don't know if you can see, but yeah. Along. This is the core of the vehicle. 
when we were buying it, it was just too much of a hassle to do a quick tour then. So I'm gonna give you a tour right now. Here's the RV, the new home that we're gonna be renovating. It is a 1995 Overland and it is a class A motorhome. She is 37 feet long, has a 15 foot slide out. Um, as you can see, there's an awning there and then another awning over there. We'll go around the other side, 15 foot slide out with an awning above it and then an awning on that window and that window. And then if you can see over there on the back window, there's another awning. Yeah, pretty awesome. It does have solar on the top of it. I don't know how big it is yet what wattage or the kilowatts are or anything. However, it did just barely get it connected to the batteries because it wasn't connected. So definitely be working on that. Our previous trailer, we didn't have any storage and there's all of this storage, which is amazing. And that's on both sides. A big reason we upgraded was the size and how much extra storage there is. And now we'll go to the inside. These stairs are automatic, and here's the entryway, and there's Chizzy. Hello, Chizzy. Okay, as you guys can see, she did just break her leg a week and a half ago. She had to get surgery to get it replaced. Not replaced, excuse me. To get it fixed. Huh, Chizzy, that wasn't fun. She's chasing the side-by-side, -side and she got run over and broke it and we had to go get it fixed. Anyways, chair here, it swivels, and we've got our other chair with the cockpit. Here is what it looks like. Yep, big old windows. Has some speakers though right there, which are nice when I was driving. On Chizzy, she likes this chair. I'll help her up. She likes to be in command at all times, on Chizzy? Anyways, as we turn, this thing is massive, really big. So slide out is a 15 foot slide out. It is huge. As we come over here to the kitchen, you can see it's a massive kitchen area and we're gonna make it even bigger. We're gonna be putting a built-in kennel right here for Chizzy with counters on top and then some maybe little storage here. I don't know, we'll look into that. We're gonna be redoing all of this. Be putting in new countertops with a new sink. But as far as all of the other stuff, the fridge and the stove and the microwave will keep. Mm, stove, we might not. We'll see. Full size fridge, big reason we upgraded is we can uh, have a full size fridge now compared to our other one. Right here, we are going to try to do a sliding barn door. That's the plan anyways. If you walk over here, there's more storage here. Oh, and I just want to show you guys this. Look how, well, first of all, it's disgusting, but look at that storage. Awesome, super excited about that. Sorry, I have a stuffy runny nose. It's cold here. I think it's currently like 21 degrees and actually have our thermostat going, got a 45 in here, kind of, so I can get a little bit more work done. So we come into the bathroom, and this is all going to be redone probably. Um, that huge shower, we're probably gonna be redoing too. And then as you turn around, here is the bathroom. This basic little bathroom that we'll be redoing. It's a fan and light in there and all that fun stuff. And then over here, another big reason is right here that we bought the, the RV. Got a washer and dryer in one. Hopefully it works, we don't know yet. But there's the hookups, that's what matters, right? And then a massive dishwasher, a full-size dishwasher in here. I don't know, we might even take that out and put like two, a washer and a dryer, I don't know. And then as you come in here, I've actually just opened this up a little bit. And that's our uh, inverter. And then all the solar stuff. Here's the bedroom. 
Yep. And so as you can see, we actually have two different thermostats. This controls the bedroom and then that control, the other one controls the rest of the house. Under the bed is the massive engine. And, but there is, here, maybe I'll just show you guys. Give me a second. Okay, got the bed up. Um, as you can see, so there is some storage. It's about a foot deep. And then if I can, and there's the engine. Never ever drove or owned anything close to this size. Back to the tour. As you come around here, massive closet here. Definitely, we have our work cut out with the nice red velvety covers with the red disgusting blinds. Got some like side vanity things with drawers and then in here is a radio with a, a bunch of messy cords and stuff I have to figure out. Got a freaking mirror that we're getting rid of. And then here's the storage. More storage above. Yeah. And then more storage over there. And that is pretty much the tour of our RV, our new massive motor home. We've got our captain here. Thinks she's the boss of everything. And she kind of is, not gonna lie. Her and Kaylee run my life. <laughs> Kidding. All right, and there you have it. That was the tour of our new RV. We're currently selling our old one to put money into this one and make this one our new home. And we're going all out on this one. I want to do like heated flooring, a new shower with tile, and we'll be doing a big sink and just kind of going all out, putting everything we would ever want in the house into this and put it as our house on wheels. But I'm sure I missed something in the tour. So if there's anything you guys want to see, um, just put it in the comments and then I can try to reply to you guys and, and tell you everything. But yeah, there'll be more videos to come. So thank you for watching and consider subscribing. Thanks.